to Ahmed Oysal, who is the director of the Centre for Middle Eastern Studies and joins us now from Ankara. Ahmed, welcome to the programme. Uh, in terms of the disagreements that specifically exist between Greece and Turkey in the Mediterranean, what is the international law interpretation that the two sides are differing on? In terms of continental shelves and how far a nation's rights extend into the waters? Uh, Greece wants to consider itself as an island nation like Malaysia or Indonesia. Actually, they have a major uh, continental land landmass. They cannot do that, but they they claim they they, they have uh, rights to to consider all the islands around Greece as part of uh, Greek uh, homeland. And Turkey says no. Turkey and Greece have uh, islands around them, and they they want to share uh, these. Uh, you know, territories and Turkey, as you know, is surrounded by uh, waters from uh, three sides. And Turkey is uh, also an island nation or an insular uh, nation like Greece. But Greece wants to dominate the uh, Mediterranean and the Asian Sea. And Turkey does not accept that because it is not a I mean, survival, survival uh, logic. And Turkey wants to, uh, offers to share these waters together with, with Greece. How important yes. are alliances and new deals going to be in terms of the future of exploration for natural resources in the Mediterranean? And I've just made a very quick list because Egypt has said that it wants to have a certain right to particular parts. Israel, obviously, at the moment is involved in a dispute with Lebanon. Then you have, of course, Libya, Greece, we've talked about. Italy, of course, with uh, its territory across the Mediterranean. Even France, when you move further up in Europe, has said that it wants to have some kind of say about what happens in the Mediterranean. Talk to us about alliances. Yes, France, you know, from distance, they want to influence the, the share of uh, uh, natural resources on the eastern Mediterranean, even though they don't have any borders to the region. Uh, Israel and Greece, uh, when the real relations, and also Egypt, uh, when the relations were negative, uh, they kind of came together overlooking or ignoring the presence of Turkey. They launched the East Med pro project uh, and also tried to exclude Turkey from the waters, but they, they kind of stuck and they did not get any uh, any support from international, uh, especially America did not support them, especially lately. And what they want to limit Turkey's uh, share and they want to maximize Greece's share and also uh, Cyprus islands on the Greek part of uh, the island that overlooks also the presence of Turks in the island and also Turkey's uh, presence in the north of the, the north of the sea. And as you as you know, uh, Turkey is a landmass in the north, and Egypt and especially Libya are uh, in the south. And they, they uh, in the deal with uh, Greece and Israel, Egypt was getting less share, and Libya was getting less. And with Turkey's logic, uh, everybody getting equal distance from from the land, land, and Turkey offers to share them equally. And of course, this will limit uh, Israel a little bit, but uh, it, it will bolster Egyptian share, Libyan share. Also, Israel and Lebanon has some controversy where to, where to draw uh, the borders, I mean, uh, exclusive zones uh, in the sea. And uh, this Turkey's logic will help everybody. But uh, they are uh, lately, they beca began to realize Turkey's offer is more rational than the Greek offer. Greek offer wants to themselves, they want to dominate the whole sea. Ahmed Oysal, thank yes. you so much indeed, Ahmed, for the analysis.